whoever's responsible for all these bombs in Syria, they certainly know what they're doing. An enormous blast zone, rubble everywhere. There's been wide acknowledgement that the target was a military intelligence compound. Given how regularly such facilities are targeted, families living in nearby flats must have feared this day would come. They told me it was here around the corner and it exploded. Look, 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 is this freedom? We were over there when a white car appeared all of a sudden. It seems to be the car used in the blast. Those voices would surely have made themselves heard to the United Nations monitors who turned up soon afterwards to inspect the site. Increasingly, people inside Syria are criticizing the monitors for a lack of muscle and a failure to stop the violence. The United Nations response, be patient. We are not there yet, but it is a process that will be continuing with the support of all those concerned in order, first and foremost, to achieve this cessation and in the first time confirm the reduction of the violence. The timing of this coincided with the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the office of the Syria envoy Kofi Annan, both suggesting that they thought a third party was now active in Syria, that's to say Al-Qaeda or something like it, being responsible for the spate of bombings. There's a third element that has appeared uh, on the ground in, uh, in Syria, which is worrying. We have not yet uh, been able to ascertain uh, who this element uh, belongs to, who it is, and we are in the process of doing so. That argument would please the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad, who has argued repeatedly that his enemies are terrorists. But it isn't hard to find opposition activists who claim the only organization capable of doing something like this is the Syrian government itself. Outside the question of conspiracy theory, there's a more practical one. What sort of autocratic government, which relies on spying on its own people, would want to make repeated attempts to blow up its own security machine? Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.